Pencil Power. Hello there, Art Ventures. In today's uh, video, we're going to be doing a study of Connor Fawcett, aka Bad Bucket Style. And you can find him at Bad Bucket on Instagram or search his name on ArtStation or somewhere else to see the full works. And I'll be putting up on the screen right now some of the um, heads that I've cut out from the full full compositions of the artwork because we're going to be studying how he does the faces because I really think it's such a there's simplicity but also a lot of depth to the to the way he does the features of the face the eyes you can see have no pupils they don't have too much detail but there is some subtleties to the shape that make them unique and um, like have character and I think it's a really great way to start drawing faces if you're still having trouble or if you're drawing, you know, um, or just to explore a new style. So uh, so I did a, like, you know, some some looking into this and trying it out and I think I figured out some things and so I thought I would share them with you guys in this video. So the first thing is I think starting with the eyes is the biggest the biggest part of his style and there's a few ways you could do the eyes. So the first way, the most basic is just two lines. Right, you'll see this in the um, like dwarf-looking character that I showed earlier, and um, it kind of works, but it also does feel like the eyes are very closed or very small and thin. Doesn't give too much character, but it definitely can work. So let's just put in like a little, you know, like a couple more features just so you can see how that might how that might look. And see, you can get a cool, cool-looking face simply by putting two lines for the eyes. Okay, and the next one is making the inside a little bit bigger than the outside edge. So you see how this is a very subtle teardrop shape. This side, this edge, the outside edge is pointy and the inside edge is round. So when you do that, you also get a pretty cool eye shape that you can mess around with. I'm going to be going through all of these features that I'm showing you here. And in a future video, I'd love to study his outfits, but we're going to stick to the faces for now. So here, and it kind of has like a more of a feminine quality, this type of eye. All right. So the next one after um, this kind of teardrop would be one that has a slight crook in it. And I'm kind of exaggerating it here. So this is going to look extra happy. So this one could be a very happy character and, um, with his eyes kind of closed. But if you make that a little more subtle it can just have a regular you know more neutral eye appearance that has a fair amount of character you see it kind of looks like he's happy sure but it's not uh, like overjoyed it's just kind of that like bit of like an inner smile or kind of a mischievous look in the eyes Right, and then finally, the last one I would say is kind of a, you know, more of an angry. If you have it downturned like this, pointing down towards the middle, you could definitely get a more sinister-looking character. Right, you can kind of see how that would work. And one of the things to keep in mind is that the eyes are actually quite small. I used to draw the eyes much bigger, and it's so interesting to see how with these subtle, small shapes, you can create a lot of depth in the character without giving the eyes too much of a, too much of a space, creating too much, um, you know, detail and still give a lot of character. So, so these are the different eyes, and you can obviously experiment and find other eye shapes. One of the things I'll leave you guys with is kind of creating this triangle shape. So whether the triangle is right side up like this or a little more upside down like that, then having just a subtle triangle to it, I think I've made this triangle a little bit big on these. So let's make them a little smaller just to demonstrate. So it's so it's so subtle, these little these little details and how you do it, you see? And I, at first when I started doing this, I was like, oh, you can do eyes with just a little line. 
you know, and when I saw his work, and I was like, I love the way it's looking, and I was like, and I kept kind of just doing it that way, and I was like, uh, it's not really working, it's not really working out, why isn't, why isn't that giving me the feel, why isn't that giving me as much character as, as his works, and I started to discover that there were subtle details to this, to this seemingly simple shape of the eye, but it's still very simple and easy to use. So the next thing we'll do is look at the nose. And these are super simple. There's basically three noses. There's, and they're all a very subtle, so this is like a U shape, but very subtle. See what I'm saying? Let's put in a little eyes here. Maybe we'll give them a big eyebrows to give them a little extra character. All right, there's this very subtle, shallow U shape. And then I'll just do it on the same one. Or and I'll do them next to it so that we can see all three of them. It's not hard to draw another face, which is why I like this method. There's a subtle V-shape that has a point in the middle. So same thing. I made it a little bit too big for the shape size that I have. So let's one, two things, subtle V-shape. All right. And then finally, you have a triangle shape, basically. There might be a slight dip to it like that, so it's still a subtle V shape, but with the shadow underneath. Something like that. All right. And I'm like um, going through these quite quickly because they are fairly simple, and I think you'll really get the idea more through experimentation rather than demonstration. So I'm just kind of showing you the ideas so that you guys can start to explore, um, explore it in your own artwork, kind of bring your own style into it. So finally, we're going to get to the lips. And there are maybe uh, like four or five different lips we can look at. So these will do without the, the face. Well, actually, you need. I think you need the, the face because without them, it kind of gets stuck. And in this one, I'm actually going to put a head shape in. So what I've noticed is I like to do, usually, I like to do the head shape around the, um, the face. So I like to do the face first and then do the head. So I'll do that in the, in the other ones. But like this one, I think I made the chin too big, which is why if I did the face first, I kind of know exactly how big I want the head. But from here, you can have, instead of a downwards V, it's an upwards V. Very subtle, but there's an upwards V shape. And then a little line where the... Um, where the bottom lip's going to be. And you see this line kind of comes at an angle like this. It's interesting because usually I would do it where the bottom lip line follows, and you can do that. You'll see that in his, in his work too, where it's, it's following the curve of the upper, of the, of the lip line. But you can also have it be a more subtle and simple just line that's coming in at an angle. It seems to really work. I'm not exactly sure why, but hey, it's, it's happening, right? And then the other thing is, if the character is smiling a little, give them a little, give them a little upturned edge like that. You see what I'm saying? So let's make this guy smile. So you still, it's got this zigzag shape. You just got the corners upturned a little bit. Cool. Um, next, we're getting into more feminine lips, so the masculine lips, and then you can even keep the lips even simpler by just, you can just have a straight line with another line underneath, you know, that's still going to work. Um, and then see coming around, you can draw the, the head shape around it and then start to get into some hair. See, so quickly you can create very interesting faces that have a decent amount of personality. Okay. Oops. So in this next section, we're going to be looking at more feminine lips. 
This one's kind of bugging me because it's a little bit... I don't know, he's just floating out there, so let me get him out of the way. And we'll put these feminine lips over... Oops, how did I... Okay, he's sticking around apparently. <laughs> um, one thing you can do is just to create... It's interesting just to do the whole lips just as a black shape. And it surprisingly works quite well. It makes the eyebrows a little higher to also be a more feminine. Have the eyebrows higher up. If they're lower, they tend to a lower brow tends to be more masculine. See so yeah, how this one's closer to the eyebrows. And um, I mean the eyes are closer to the eyebrows, but here. And then more arcing also tends to be more feminine. So you can see just this diamond shape shaded in all the way. Make her mouth is going to give you an interesting lips that actually work with the style. Then to to create a different types of lips, we can continue with that upside down V shape that we we looked at, and we can add the top lip and leave the bottom lip as a, as a dot. And you can see how I'm going to have to sculpt these a little bit to get them to look how I'd like. Okay, I may have made the lips a little big, but I think you get the idea. Let's make this one a little more subtle. I think this one actually may be having the lips. You can do them like that, but you could also just do a straight line. Put the top lip. It can either be rounded, like it is here, or more angular like that and then the lips can go off to the side a little bit further than the shape put a little line there and you can have some feminine lips like that and then finally you can also add the bottom lip finish it off like that to have both the lips shown or more feminine or character with more pronounced lips. So instead of just indicating the bottom, you can have the full thing going on. And um, and that's pretty much it. That's all of the lips. So let's go ahead and do like a couple faces as a demo, just using the whole the whole situation. So I'll do three faces here. And you can lay them in using the method we learned in the six ways of drawing a face method if you want. So here I'll just use the, the oval face method to kind of get the general placements, right? Um, here we can use the triangle face method. And here we can use the, um, let's do the animate one for this one. Or actually, the last one I want to do the face first and then add the, the head around the face because I actually said that I do like doing it that way. So here we've got the eyes already, just two lines. They're a little bit pointed on the ends. And, you know, pick a cool eyebrow shape. You can do all sorts of stuff here. And then remember we've got the mouth pointing up like that. And there we go. That's pretty much it. And then I'll sculpt in the face around here to fit nicely. Give them some ears. Tends to like to put a little hair between the, the ears and the face, which I like that that vibe. And I'm not going to go into the hair because that's another study for another day. i got to look into hair more detailed, so I'll leave it pretty simple. Maybe this guy's actually balding. So let's finish off the top of the head. And then also, to add the neck, we can um, just put two lines coming straight down from about, depending on how thick you want the neck to be, it can be different for different characters. And then I tend to see a line coming diagonally across and this is all darkened in black. And again, we'll leave the costumes for another day. So that'll give you something for the head to live on. Okay, cool. So for this guy, we're gonna Lay in the features of the face, simply like that. And this one maybe will make a female character with the pointier nose 
and we can do an upper lip locating the bottom put the head around there something like that and boom we've got a nice little face we'll have her hair pulled back just do this real quickly. Great. Maybe a thinner neck, slightly thinner neck, tapering inwards. Make it a little more feminine. And that's it. Great. And so for the last character, we're going to just do the face first. You'll start to get an idea of the spacings. Oh, look, even just doing these three lines, this one will have a little more of a shadow under the nose. Just doing those three lines, you've already got an idea for how the face is going to look. Mouth turned up like that. Just like this. Two lines tapering inwards. Two more tapering in to create the chin. And then when you add Let's give this guy some maybe thicker eyebrows and a lower brow. That's pretty much it. So I did these very quick, but when you really kind of get in there and start to relax and get into the vibe, you can create some pretty neat characters and kind of explore, like, you know, give this guy a scar, whatever you want to do. And really like with this simple layout, end up with some really pretty neat characters. So I hope that was helpful. And I'm curious how you guys will incorporate it into your art. Feel free to leave a link in the comments below. All right. I hope this has imbued you with just a little bit more. Pencil, Pencil. power. power.